You join us at Electric Car Cafe at Evolution, right at the beginning of the conversion of this 45 series Land Cruiser. Actually, that's a lie. It's not right at the beginning because we've already started the stripping, as you may have been able to detect from the lack of engine in front grill on this vehicle. Um, we're actually probably about a week into this at the moment um, of, the, of the execution. Uh, the design's already happened. We all know, already know what we're going to do and how we're going to do and all that kind of stuff. We're now really at the end of the, the stripping, I guess, really. So we have no engine, we have no transmission, uh, drive shafts, fuel tank, or anything like that anymore. So we've de-iced it, so to speak. Uh, also, we've made it less comfortable, if that's even possible. No seats. Uh, no seats, <laughs> uh, no carpet or vinyl or anything like that, because they're off with the trimmers being uh, recovered into a um, into the, the, the color and texture of the customer's choice. And they're, they're having seat heat, seat heaters put in them as well, which is which, which is obviously going to be a massive uh, boon for for the. Customer. Customer, even though he lives in Perth. Um, this is going to have a, 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 a full Tesla pack and a bit. And actually. Some. Yeah, and some actually. So it's going to be uh, a 100 kilowatt hour pack and it's going to be uh, a Hyperline drive system running through the existing uh, uh, transfer case and all of that kind of stuff. So the custom will have a heap of power actually, first of all, uh, and all wheel drive or four wheel drive uh, as the case with, 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 with the vehicle as well. So um, so we're looking around the four to 500 k's of range, we believe, given the efficiencies of the drivetrain and all that kind of stuff as well. Prior to it coming to us, it had a really old clattery diesel engine with about four or 500,000 kilometers on the clock, which is obviously spaceship enterprise type kilometers. Um, and um, it was pretty tired, hard to start, uh, and a really, a really rough drive. Although it looks cool, really difficult to, to really difficult to live with, and, and a bugger to start in the morning. It was a great massage. It shook you to hell. It did. It did. It was just. It was like one of those vibrating tables that I know nothing about. <laughs> so, so, so all that's gone now, uh, and and we're 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 on we're on with the build essentially. And over the next few weeks, we'll be chronicling. Um, the trials and tribulations of, of the conversion. Um, we know how we're going to do it, but that's not to mean there's not going to be the challenges, and I'm sure everyone in YouTube land wants to know um, what trouble we get into and, and how we're going to fix it and all of those kind of things. And I promise you, we're not going to you know, pull a blanket over anything. It'll be absolutely bang on in terms of uh, the transparency of, of, of the conversion and, and, you know, and how we do it, etc. Bit of a shoulder workout there. So all looks pretty clean in here at the moment and it wasn't like this about a week ago. Uh, so the engine came out and um, it's in another location at the moment uh, up for sale. So if you're interested in a 400,000 kilometer diesel engine from a Toyota 45, get in touch. When it came out, obviously it left quite a lot of, you know, 40, 50 years of, of grease and, and grime behind, uh, and actually a bit of rust as well, uh, which is, was surprised uh, surprised to me. So we've had this sent off to a, um, a, a local shop to be uh, uh, refinished. So it's all looking pretty schmick now as well. So ready to receive its um, uh, the, the motor and the gearbox and uh, uh, battery boxes and all, all of that kind of stuff. Uh, and this is part of what we do. Um, this is a light touch restoration. The body is actually in pretty pretty good condition it's been looked after and tended to over its life it doesn't need a, re a respray right now but we've taken up the opportunity to refinish the, inter the internals of the uh, engine bay just so it looks really nice and schmick uh, and matches the the um the shininess of of the the gearbox adapter and all and the motor and, and the controls and all that kind of thing that's going to that's going to go in there in the next few weeks uh, we we'll also Taking that time to degrease the chassis rail, so that's all nice and, 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 and aesthetically pleasing to look at as well. We'll probably change the water bottle and a few other bits and pieces, and so just none of that sticks out like a sore thumb. But other, other than that, it's ready to go and ready for the motor to, to go in here. So here we have a uh, Tesla module uh, from one of the uh, Tesla Model S's that we uh, wrecked. Um, so in this car, we're going to have a lot of these, and if not, we're going to have actually we're going to have more than one car's worth of Tesla modules to give the customer the range that he's after. 
So back here is going to be pretty different too. Uh, the customers is going to have a, a camping trailer uh, back here, obviously to so you can go camping with it, but also to reduce the weight as well. This is a heavy steel uh, tray back here, so it's probably three to 400 kilos or thereabouts. So we're gonna lose weight straight away by removing this and putting something aluminium and sexy on top of it. Uh, obviously, it doesn't look too good at the moment either because it's, uh, it's been used as a work use. Uh, so it's had a noble and, and, and heavy use over the years. Uh, let's have a look inside and we'll, we'll, we'll show you what's going on in, in the cabin. So we're on the interior of the uh, 45 series. Uh, you'll see it's pretty classic. We want to keep the classic look. We're going to retain the gauges and repurpose them. Um, so your fuel gauge will tell you essentially how much charge, you know, how much battery power you've got left. Um, we're going to put sound ending in it. Uh, quite interestingly, if I just show the camera down here, uh, not many people, or some people may know that here we used to sit on top of the fuel tank inside the car. So um, that's gone now. And uh, quite often uh, 45 series cruiser owners used to uh, complain of the smell of fuel no longer. Um, actually, it's, it's storage. So the customer will also get, as we mentioned earlier, um, seat heaters uh, with uh, the nice, uh, nicely recovered seats and refurbished, uh, air conditioning and heating, um, and proximity locks. So it'll have all the mod cons of a, of a new car um, ready to go. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to see more of this, don't forget to like, share and subscribe and also check out our sponsors who make all this possible without them we wouldn't be here doing this many thanks see you soon